Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. So let's begin. So Miguel asked the first question, and his question is, do I average down? I, I never average down. Um, because the way we trade is completely different than everybody else, and it's a very, very specific way of trading, uh, every channel is its own uh, is its own important interval. And the stock, if you, if you trade pivots, and for all you guys who have been trading pivots for a very long time, you kind of know that once that area into supply, and again, for all you guys who are joining us for the first time, stocks trade from supply to supply, demand to demand. You could call them moving average, you could call them Bollinger Bands, you could call them linear regressions line, potato, potato, tomato, tomato, they're still supply and demand zones. And structured markets trade from supply to supply and demand to demand. Um, so when a stock is testing supply, and supply is emotional sellers, right? Excuse me, emotional buyers are meeting technical sellers, usually the technical sellers the first time around are going to reject those emotional buyers nine out of 10 times. So if that area fails, right? If that area needs to be uh, tested again and it fails the second time around, I know darn well, I don't want to have anything to do with the trade. So a lot of times, and we'll see pivots and you'll hear me talk about it's a free trade, it's a free trade. It's actually not a free trade, but the reason why we call it a free trade is that specific area in the market, right? That specific uh, area that the stock needs to confirm, if it gets rejected again, we don't want to be in the trade anyway. It's like, it's like in layman's terms, Miguel, it's like, imagine a double top, right? A stock traded to 120, and then two weeks later, it got traded, it, it traded to 120 again, and both areas got rejected. Would you want to be would you want to be long that stock on a dip right would you want to average down on a stock that got rejected back to back times in the same area right so the answer logically is no you don't you don't you know you don't buy dips on stocks that didn't confirm you only buy dips whether they're on the inter, a 60 minute interval uh or they're on the daily chart you only buy dips and I, I don't want to use the word average down uh but you only want to buy dips into rising support after a stock breaks out so the short answer to that is I, I never average down on the position because I know if a stock gets rejected off that pivot, I don't want to be in the stock anyway. Okay, it's, it's, it's a hard no because you, you're, you're trying to will your way to the stock going higher instead of letting it playing out organically and letting the stock break out. So the answer is always no, okay, because it's a very, very specific area. It needs to confirm that area. So if it fails off that area and I'm long, I'm gonna get out of the trade, right? I'm gonna get out of the trade. And this is kind of what we call, uh, this is kind of what we call uh, a free trade. So we know if 120, and again, we're using a fictional number, but if 120 gets rejected, we don't wanna be in the trade anyway. And this is the whole point of using the scenario of losing pennies versus making dollars. And that's kind of uh, the whole point there. So yeah.